Thank you for joining us today for this TechLinks demo on Tag Text Management. This is a feature found in LabelView Gold and CodeSoft Enterprise, and today we're actually going to be doing the demo in CodeSoft 2018 Enterprise Edition. Tag Text Management is something that's used more commonly in ingredients labels using allergens, um, showing nutrition facts. So for example, we have this field here, which is our ingredients list. Milk is an ingredient which is an allergen, common allergen, and we want to flag that um, with a bold font. And it would be difficult to run through our ingredients list and have to bold one word, especially if milk or another allergen ap appeared multiple times, it would be difficult to go in and bold those individually. But Tag Text Management offers something a little bit simpler for us. So what we're going to do is take our ingredients variable here and pass it through a formula. We're going to create this formula and call this the allergen tag. And essentially what we're going to do is we're going to surround milk with a bold tag. That tag text management will be able to recognize and bold that particular word. So in order to do that, I'm going to replace the string of milk with uh, some tags around it. So first we're going to include our ingredients. That's the string we're going to be pulling from. The old string is going to be milk, and the new string is going to be forward slash B for bold. I'm going to open the tag here, include milk in between there, and then close the tag with a slash B. So the only difference between the two here is that now milk, instead of having just the word milk there, we have a slash B tag on either side of the word. Now if we were to drag this onto our label, we can see it looks a little bit funky because of the fact that it has those tags there. And this is where tag text management is going to come in. We're going to access it with tools and tag text management. This is where we're going to point the tag text management towards our data source and the object. So we're going to call our data source allergen tag, which is the formula we created and the text object being text2 because that is the second object we dragged onto the label. And Once we hit the checkbox here it'll tell us the script is running successfully and as soon as we close out of tag text management milk becomes bolded because of the B tag that we included. I mocked up a label here of another ingredients list which is going to kind of allow us to look at something we can do for a longer list of ingredients. So something more than milk includes multiple allergens including flour, butter, and eggs in here. So what I did is I created another formula. Here's our ingredients list. Same as before, just in a when printed field. I passed this in when printed field variable into a formula with a bunch of nested replace strings. And this looks a little bit crazy, I know. But what's happening here is we're basically saying, you know, anywhere we see flour, replace it with the bold tag for flour. Wherever we see whole egg, replace it with the bold tag for whole egg and essentially just nesting all of these so that we get all of our variables included. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the data source of our field to our allergens field and we're going to notice the funky text again with the slash b surrounding our allergens which is exactly what we want because that allows us to open tag text management and include our allergens formula which is where we included those tags and then the text object name here is text ingredients so once we link these up within tag text management we easily bold out all of the allergen ingredients within our apple pie thank you for joining us today for this demo of tag text management uh, if you have any questions feel free to give us a call on our tech support line or visit us at techlinks.com